Welcome to the Facilities Usage Planning Usage and Planning Subcommittee. Today is May 4th, 2021. I'd like to read the following for the minutes. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency, on March 12th, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20, pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting law's requirement that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public. So long as measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations through adequate alternative means. This meeting will be held and will be accessible to the public via Brockton Community Access, Brockton Public Schools website, www.bpsma.org, YouTube and Comcast channel 98, and 1071 HD version. The public can access this meeting via this link, www.youtube.com backslash the Brockton channels. Thank you. All right, I'd like to call this meeting to order for the facilities usage and planning subcommittee. I'd like to take a roll call vote to establish a quorum. Uh, I, myself, Joyce Asak, chair, Mr. Sullivan. Here. Mr. D'Agostino? Yeah. It's unanimous. We have a quorum. So item number one on our agenda is the discussion of the Eldon B. Keith Memorial Field. Uh, Superintendent, if you can so, give us an update. Yeah, just a quick update um, because uh, we've discussed this at the last meeting, but I just want to give you an update that um, we're still waiting for the stamped official plot and survey. Um, of the piece of property that and the part that was um, that the school committee will um, decide whether it's excess land so um, that has been delayed the survey so that's why I'm bringing it up to you tonight um, and we should have that survey um, right around March I would say it'd be March I mean sorry May my god May 16th we should have the official stamped uh, plot plan slash survey of the um of the piece of property that will um show exactly where a soccer slash football field would fit and what it, um what land that um, the school committee could deem um in excess so the reason why i wanted to bring it up again tonight on facilities is because we told you would have stamp plans and right now they're not ready yet okay so that's all we needed for the evening. That's all we that. need to proceed. Yep. Okay. So uh, we can. We should have those in about ten days. Okay. Any other members have any questions, Mr. D'Agostino, Mr. Sullivan? No. Okay. So we can just we're going to move on since there's no questions. We're going to move on to uh, agenda item number two: progress on the Huntington roof replacement. Yep. I think is Dr. Cobbs with us? If yeah. Not, Good uh, afternoon. Hello, Dr. Cobbs, if you can give an update on um, the MSBA roof replacement um, for the Huntington School roof. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so the, as you, I think we, for the last time we talked about the Huntington roof, the project has been awarded to the contractor, the contractor's Capeway Roofing Systems. I believe we've used them before. We, the, the, we had, we've had four construction meetings already the last one was an actual site walkthrough with the contractors and the and the architects and the engineers um, we're in the process of placing the order for the materials we expect them to there are some delays in construction materials but we expect them to be you know on site within a reasonable amount of time to keep close to the construction schedule which is planned to end hopefully the last week of, of July or early August the construction demolition for the roof um, will start actually next week. So they'll be on site and actually doing the work. So we had a walk through with the principal and the senior custodian and again, all the parties involved to designate areas for the lay down for the equipment and storage of the on site uh, lifts for the project. And it, again, it's, it's still scheduled to end by the end of the summer. So, So thanks, Dr. Cobbs. Again, I want to thank the school committee, uh, city council for supporting this project. Uh, Dr. Cobbs, what's the um, estimated um, price tag that the um, architect put on this job? 
originally we had in the initial construction documents we had carried a 2.9 million price the actual bid came in at 1.69 so with the, with the construction uh, you know the architectural engineering costs it will be just probably just around two million dollars that's, that's good news so that right. basically is uh, out of that two million dollars um, about four hundred thousand of that is uh, the city's responsibility um, and the the other uh, 1.6 is picked up by the MSBA because we have 80 percent reimbursement so right. um, again I want to thank the school committee the City Council for supporting this project uh, long overdue uh, it'd be great to see the Huntington School with a new roof it's going to be a metal roof um, so it kind of stayed with the, um, the architecture and the design um, so it was a slate roof that was there before um, not only will they replace the roof but they'll also you'll see new gutters on the building which uh, need to be <laughs> fixed the eaves will be fixed and once we have a new roof we can go in uh, and really start to do some renovations inside the Huntington School as far as carpet um, ceilings um, the gymnasium needs to be done over but now that we'll have a new roof as we move into the fall uh, we can really start to do some um, uh, renovations there to really make the building look a lot better than it does now. So, I, quick question. Um, so, on the metal roof, um, I'm not that familiar with metal roofs. So, any type of maintenance, like what's the lifespan on that roof? Whereas we've had that slate roof up there for <laughs> quite some time. Yeah. Um, so what is, what is the lifespan on, on a metal roof? Um, Jim, do they give you 60 years on a metal roof? Yes, yes, they do. It's a metal seam. It's actually aluminum, but it's a it's a painted, coated aluminum metal seam that, that will last several several years. And, and as Mike mentioned already, when we shingles. take the heavy slate roof off of the building, we'll you know alleviate some of the pressure on the structure. So you know we, we've had to fortify the roof structure underneath, inside, and that'll help greatly, and particularly with the snow load in the winter. I, I so do, re it. yeah, I do remember when we toured Huntington with Mr. Diagostino and. I'm not sure if Mr. Sullivan was with us. This was a few years back. Now, I remember just seeing up on the third floor or fourth floor, it was up in the attic area, and you can see the, the, the support that over the years yeah. uh, they've had to go in. So yeah. have, alleviating that, that pressure is just going to make a huge exactly. difference. So, so and we, this, can, we can probably try. Structure should last a long time, and, and again, it will help the total building structure and, and, and the architectural and engineering design. Definitely, it'll be nice to be able to grow the program that's there once once that's done, because um, yeah. you know that that's a nice building. So, thank you, uh, Mr. Jackson. Mr. Sullivan had a quick question first, and then. Oh, uh, go ahead. My question was already answered. It was the the life, the warranty on the. Oh school. sure. And you answered that. I didn't realize it was sixty years. Yeah. It's good. Thank you. Mr. Diagostino. Um, all I was going to comment on is obviously we've already discussed the fact that. Getting all that weight off will be beneficial to the building. As, as you mentioned, we saw the additional bracing that they had to do to keep from basically having it collapse because from the weight of snow and just time not being very good to that building. Um, but also, you know, once we get this roof done, um, that's where, and the superintendent mentioned this, that's where the really exciting part comes. You know, as, as you know, the Huntington being in Ward 3, I'm pretty pumped about the fact that now we can go in and we can really start to fix that building, do some nice cosmetic um, repairs and, and things. I mean, you know, nothing's better than a full gut rehab, but we can do a lot with our own craftsmen to really make that building nice that we couldn't really do while it was still leaking. It wouldn't have made sense to do. So um, I think, you know, the roof is exciting, and I'm glad that's finally happening. Um, but then the, the real exciting part gets to be where we get to go in and, and, and then do some nice stuff inside so the kids have a nice, fresher, cleaner, you know, uh, uh, building to enjoy, um, you know, that currently they don't have. So, so that'll be nice to once, once all that work starts too. So anyway, but I want to thank uh, all of you and, um, you know, cause this really is a big deal for, for ward three. Um, I want to thank all of, you know, my fellow committee members for their support of this. Um, and the city council, of course, and council Ryan Erie, um, who had to, you know, put the resolve before the city council for their part of this. Um, and, uh, you know, the superintendent and Dr. Cobbs and everybody else in facilities that's been involved in this. This has kind of been a pet project of mine since I started. And uh, so to finally 
you know, see it happening is really nice. So thank you. Definitely. It, it's been a few years in the making, so it, it's nice to finally see see it coming together. So um, just like Mr. Diagostino had mentioned, um, we will be able to utilize that building and definitely um, it's, it's a positive. We have a lot of positives yeah. that, that we're working on. So um, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, all set with questions? Nothing further? Or? Nothing further. Nothing further. Thank you, Dr. Cobbs. Um, Welcome. So and now agenda item number three, Brockton High School MSBA Statement of Interest update. Yeah, so um, the, as you know, the statement of interest that was put in for the core program, a core, the core program with the MSBA um, is a program um, that is anything beyond. Accelerator repair is roofs, windows, and boilers. The core program is actually major renovation on new construction. So um, last year's application to the MSBA for Brockton High School, um, we did not make it to the last round. Uh, it was the first application we've put in for Brockton High School. Um, in pretty much 0% of the first year applications make it through um, the first time. Uh, we have been encouraged to apply again. Uh, the good thing is that they've opened the application process early this year. Um, so the application uh, process just opened, um, and the SOI, which is a statement of interest, which really doesn't have to be changed. We did get good feedback. Dr. Cobbs and his team did a great job of writing up the SOI, the statement of interest. We pretty much just need to do a few minor updates and pretty much change the dates. Um, and that is due by June 25th. So we'll be asking the full committee tonight to approve us to submit the statement of interest for Brockton High School, and then we have to go to the city council to get them to approve. So it would be a statement of interest for Brockton High School in the core program um, to submit that by June 25th. And we should know by, I would say, um, June, I would say we would probably not know until we got in until probably around next January or February. But that's the update on the high school um, statement of interest. Okay. Um, so you're looking for a motion. Um, Mr. Diagostino, would you like to make the motion? Sure. And Mrs. Sullivan, you can second it. Sure. Motion to approve Brockton High School MSBA statement of interest to be resubmitted for the 2022 um, for 2022, thank you. No, actually, it's 21. no, it's 21 on there. Right for for the for the 2021 core program. Thank you. And then there'll be um, official language that we will uh, read tonight at the full school committee meeting because that language in the a copy of the full school committee meet minutes, along with the city council minutes, they have to get submitted with the MSBA uh, statement of interest. So. But again, the facilities is the facilities sub is always the first step. So okay. thank you. Second. And uh, second. So a motion uh, was made by Mr. Diagostino, and it was seconded by Mr. Sullivan. Can I take a um, are we uh, roll call, Mr. Diagostino? Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. And myself is a yes. So motion carries unanimously. Um, do we have any? Item number four, any new business, other business? Um, yes, I have a couple quick ones. Um, and I just want to say um, thank you to our state delegation, um, Claire Cronin um, and Jerry Cassidy. Um, they actually, because this is their, um, their basically their, um, what do we call it, jurisdiction, um, for lack of a better word. Um, uh, so uh, Claire and Jerry were able to secure um, $550,000 for paving work here at Brockton High School. As you, can, as you all know, we all know the, the shape that this parking lot is in. Um, so and they also secured $100,000 for the Hancock School. Um, so basically we have $650,000 between the two schools. Um, and Aldo is working now to put out a paving bid. Um, it will be, uh, obviously it can't be uh, total tear up and replace, but it will be 
what they call a grind and overlay. So what they'll do is they'll go through the entire parking lot, especially the bad pieces, and almost like you see like they do on the road, and they don't really rip everything up. They just grind it down so the new um, overlay would stick. Um, and that way, we're going to get that done this summer. Uh, as, so as soon as school closes, we'll, we'll, we're getting a bit out now. Uh, so the Brockton High School, again, we have, about, we have actually 550000 to pave up here and 100000 to pave at the Hancock. Great. And Aldo, what am I missing? Oh, it's the state You're delegation. Missing, I'm missing something. You're missing Kennedy? Yes. Yeah, I'll let you dive. Okay. Yeah. That, thank you. I was hoping you'd let me there was new one. do the honors. Um, also, um, uh, Claire and Jerry uh, were able to get us $10,000 to um, do work on the courtyard um, at the Kennedy School in honor of Principal Brian Rogan. And so, um, again, that being in my area, and also we all know how special Brian was to the city and to our students, and uh, so that'll be really nice and it means a lot. We'll be able to do a, make a nice memorial to him out in that space. It's a beautiful space if you've been in the school and we'll be able to do some really nice you know, things to, to make it, a, again, a good remembrance of Brian. So, Definitely, really I mean, uh, Principal Rogan was, was, he was the Kennedy School. I mean, it, you mentioned Kennedy and, and Principal Rogan's the first thing that you, comes to mind. So to be able to honor him and honor his legacy there, um, that just, that's gonna be wonderful. So. I'm sure the Hancock family is excited about that, the Hancock School family. Um, sorry, Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> it's been a long day. I know. <laughs> the Kennedy School family is excited about that. So, uh, you know, again, thank you to our, uh, you know, Claire Cronin and Jerry Cassidy. Uh, they, they, you know, they've come through with some, some nice surprises that we weren't expecting. So the 550, that'll cover all of BHS. I mean, that's... Yeah, it'll cover... It won't... We won't probably do far out by the... Um, far, far south? From Marciano, because that's not that in that bad a shape. Um, we're going to obviously pick the worst spots, which is the majority of the parking lot. But I, <laughs> but I think we should be able to get at least 65% of the parking lot with a grind and overlay, and that would be obviously... The, you know, the roads that um, go in front of the high school, the roads in front of Fine Arts. If you go over the road going out by the gym, the parking lot by Yellow, this parking lot out here, uh, the main parking lot. So you, you, it's going to be a good amount. I'm hoping we get at least 65% of it covered with an overlay. Um, we, and you also put the school committee with the ESSER 2 funds, we also put uh, 200000 in the budget for just overall paving. So we could use some of that money if, if, um, to, to, to um, settle that. But there's also the Raymond School. Um, Davis. That road has to be changed. The Davis, those two roads going in around the main office need to be done. Um, as you know, I've said this, but there's about there's $12 million easy of paving that needs to be done across um, all of it. The Brookfield parking lot Definitely. is not in the best it's shapes. Just, yeah. So we just keep plugging, um, plugging away at it. Um, and, you know, you have to be obviously make sure you're using money that's allowed to be used to do this. Um, and what Aldo said, some of the ESSA 3 money uh, could be concentrated just on facilities, some of that. So that's what we'll look at some more money. But the paving is, again, it's a mess. No, everybody knows it's a mess. So I'm hoping we can get a good majority of it done here at the high school. And obviously we'll start with the worst spots. Definitely. I mean, it will make a difference. Oh, so, absolutely. Um, and that, that, that's a nice start right there. Um, Mr. Sullivan, I believe you had some other business? Yes, I was, I just had a question on the Champion High School. Is there any movement on that or what, or what's going to happen? Or um, at this time, the city is still looking for a, no, a location for us. Okay. They are working on a couple of spots, but hopefully we get an update this week. Um, I think there's another meeting tomorrow with the law office and a potential location. Uh, but as soon as we have something you know, uh, definitive, but we, you know, we. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, I believe that's it for this evening um, as far as the facilities. So, Ken, let's see what we have here. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Studio. Oh, okay, I'll second it. <laughs> okay, so a motion's been made by Mr. Sullivan and it's been seconded by Mr. Diagostino. I'd like to read the roll call. Uh, Mr. Diagostino? Yes. Mrs. Sullivan? Yes. 
and myself is a yes. Thank you very much. This meeting's adjourned.